How you doing? Welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I am John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy. Thanks for joining me. Hey, uh, despite the name of my channel, which is Indoor Hydroponics, right, uh, I don't traditionally like growing hydroponically and by that I mean it's not my first option. My first option is of course to harvest free energy and use it to my advantage, okay? And what do I mean by that? Well, the sun out there, right? Completely free, completely free free energy. Rain, man, harvest the rain, use the rain, that's free water, okay? I like that. By the way, for hundreds of thousands of years or biblically 5,000 years, however, you, which, whatever way you look at it, Plants have been growing in the soil, okay, and they, uh, through evolution, have uh, built up immunities to things it, it, growing outside. This whole hydroponic movement that's going on is new. It's not really natural, but I use it during the winter months because I think it's, it's fun, but it's not my first choice. So, what is this video? This is a first video in a bell pepper grow okay and it's going to be an eight part series and I'm gonna shoot a video every month and I'm gonna to try to keep it within 15 minutes every month I know I get long-winded some of you have mentioned that in private messages and in comments I take that to heart so I'm gonna keep this short okay and I'm gonna to try to pack a lot of information in but on this first video okay uh, March I want to talk about seed starting and repotting and, of course, we'll talk about the seeds that I started, right? Okay, because we want to know, well, what are you growing? Because that's the most fun part. I'll try to throw a caption over here. So, over here we'll talk about future months. Just as a precursor, just so you want to subscribe and follow along, that'd be cool. Alright, so, April. I'm going to talk about a plan, okay? And a growing method. How am I going to grow these? What is my plan? What is my expectations? before I even get the plants in the ground. I find a lot of people that are kind of novice to novice gardeners, they don't have a plan. They'll buy a plant, start, stick it in some junky soil. Two months later, they're, they're pulling their hair out. They're trying to figure out well, what happened because they didn't go into it with a plan, okay? So I'm going to talk about my plan in April. In May, I'm going to talk about bed preparation. Specifically, I'm going to talk about preparing the, these pepper beds with good organic compost, good organic uh, amendments, okay, because I'm not going to put any salt fertilizer, chemical fertilizer on these, uh, in the soil or on these plants this year. This is going to be an organic project. I'm growing heirloom seeds. Let's do it natural. In June, I'm going to talk about planting. And specifically, I'm going to talk about how to get the plants in the ground without shocking and killing them, right? So we're going to talk about hardening off, uh, feeding them, that type of stuff. In July, we're going to talk about fertilizer. More specifically, we're going to talk about compost tea and what I think of it. That is going to be my sole uh, fertilizer program for these, okay? This compost tea, a soil-drenched compost tea. All right, I'll talk about how I make it. Uh, I'm going to talk about how I apply it, that type of stuff. Uh, and we're going to go from there. In August, we're going to talk about organic pest control. We're going to talk about organic... Uh, uh, disease control as well, okay? Bacteria, fungus, that type of stuff. And I'll let you know that for bacteria and fungus, a foliar spray with compost tea is that's a, it's kind of a cure-all for a lot of stuff, right? And it's a good combat against bacteria and fungus, okay? It's also an insecticide, and we'll talk about that. Now, if the bugs get bad this year, we're going to get into insecticidal soaps, and we're also going to get into neem oil, and neem oil will be my last resort. It's organic, but it smells. September, we're going to talk about, this is going to be my favorite month if everything goes well. This, we're going to talk about harvest. Now, if I can back up to April, in my plan, I'm going to talk about what I expect out of 72 pepper plants. What type of production do I expect? Okay, so I'm going to give an estimate in April, and if I don't kill these things up between now and September, in September during harvest, we're going to talk about what did I actually get. Okay, did I meet expectations? Did I exceed expectations? That type of stuff. And then in October, we're gonna, I'm going to have a, like a reflection video. What did I learn? What could I have done better? What shouldn't I change? Okay. 
So this is going to be like an eight-part series. This is this is one. So let's. Uh, so please come back and check me out month after month. All right. So let's get into seed starting. Okay. Four heirloom varieties. Um, I'm going to have a segment uh, when I when I flip from here to another room I will show you the seed packets and give you a little bit of information about those seeds but in a nutshell I've got an orange pepper, red pepper, green pepper and a yellow pepper okay and I think it's going to be really cool alright but how did I start the seeds? Your standard everyday pea pellet got them for Christmas three bucks my wife got them, got me one, my dog got me one. I don't know how the dog wrapped the paper, but wrapped it with paper, but he did. I appreciate it, buddy. And uh, pretty simple, man. There's YouTube videos on this, but in a nutshell, 11 cups, warm water in here, soak them. They expand. Put your seed, put your, uh, put your seed in them, right, once they're expanded, obviously. Put yourself a humidity dome on it. Uh, and then park them under some grow lights and seven to ten days later you're gonna see them sprout and I think I got out of 72 I think I think I got yeah I got 72 plants right now so they all germinate I got germination off of each one of these what I don't like about these and this is just personal okay is that they have an outer layer like a mesh layer on the outside of these things and I don't like that so because I don't believe I, I don't want it to inhibit the root growth, root, root growth. Okay, so what I did was is when I noticed that the that the seedlings were starting to penetrate these, I ripped it off and then transplanted them into a 72 uh, grid seed starting um, tray. Okay, and I'll show you that when we go and take a look at it where we're at now. So once I transplanted to them. I slid them under uh, the grow lights and uh, and they've been sitting on a, a heat mat as well just to provide a little bit of warmth because peppers like warmth. Uh, what have they been fed today? One teaspoon Epsom salt per gallon of water and I bottom feed them. Okay, what does that mean? I drench the bottom of the tray with water, right, and then it wicks up. So I never have to top water these things and it's a really super easy way of, for maintenance on these things. So, the next step is let's take a peek at the plants, let's take a peek at the setup, and then we're going to go upstairs and we're going to do some repotting and I'm probably going to need some help. So let's, uh, between segments here, between me going, standing here and going to the bedroom where I'm growing the seedlings, uh, let me show you a picture of the packets uh, and give you a little bit of information. Okay, I'll see you over in, the grow, or in my guest room. How you doing? Welcome inside my spare bedroom here. Hey, listen, this is what I've got going on. I've got two flats of starts here going. I, on the right side here, I have um, uh, tomatoes, and I've got four different varieties, and I'll probably shoot a video on tomatoes separately. Those are going into my backyard raised beds. What's going in my front yard landscaping is going to be this flat right here. And what do I got set up here, okay? I had an extra bed spring for a crib, okay? So I put this to use. I raised it up, and what I set on top is a little two-foot, two-tube T5 uh, lighting system, okay? And I have it uh, about six feet above, or six feet, six inches above the plant, okay? And so this is the setup that I have going on right here. It's on a timer for 18 hours a day, and it turns off for uh, six, uh, six hours a day. And underneath are my starts. So I'll flip the lights on in this room so you can get a better look. All right, here's my flat of starts here, okay? And again, we've got really good growth. I'm five weeks into this. Um, they're all nice and lush and green, and no chemical fertilizers have been installed on these babies, right? All, that has, all these things have seen to, the, to date is a bottom feed of Epsom salt. I lift the tray out and I bottom feed them. No water has ever touched the tops or leaves of this, or tops of the leaves or anything of that nature. Okay, and so I dilute one teaspoon of Epsom salt 
per gallon of water and that is all that has been used to feed these plants okay and sparingly I, I might add because the happy frog potting medium has uh, beneficials in it and it has um, compost and natural fertilizers in it these things don't need a whole lot of, uh, of nitrogen or anything of that nature in fact we probably overfeed our plants with uh, chemical fertilizers so I'm going to grow these completely organic, okay? And the reason, again, why I picked these four types of pepper plants is simple, man. Go to your nursery and look at the types of plants that are available in your nursery, right? You're going to have two types. You're going to have a green and a red for the most part, right? What they don't tell you is, is that's probably the same plant with different maturity dates, okay? You're picking green peppers early, say maturity date of 85 days, and then you'll see like a 100-day maturity date for the red peppers, right? All you're doing is leaving them on the plant longer to ripen up, and 9 times out of 10, what is it? It's California Wonder, okay? And if you want to grow your standard run-of-the-mill peppers that you are going to be force-fed into buying, grow California Wonder. If you want to grow something heirloom, exotic, something different from your neighbors, you got to start them from seed, right? Because you can't find, you will not find these peppers anywhere at a, at a high-end, unless it's a high-end nursery, but your standard greenhouse nursery, your roadside stands that sells plant and starts, you won't find these. You won't find heirloom varieties like this. No way, man. I mean, I got an Italian variety, I got an orange variety. This is fantastic, right? It's going to have its challenges, though, because they're not hybrids. Hybrids are built to produce and to be resistant to fungus, resistant to insects, and resistant to a lot of things that run into play, right? So, that's why I'm doing a video each month to detail how to grow these things and to get them into production and to have a decent harvest okay so done a lot of research on this and we're gonna landscape and we're gonna make it look pretty okay so the next step in this process because these plants have now outgrown their little uh, uh, starters right here right I don't want them to get completely root bound okay I still have at least six more weeks of growing these inside before they're ready to go outside so we need to repot them and I'm gonna need some help with that so Let's go repot these babies. All right, I got a cup of coffee. It's the middle of March and it's time to replant. What are we replanting in? We're gonna use the happy frog medium right here and we're gonna turn this singular flat into four separate flats right here. And what do I mean by that? We're gonna take the six start, uh, starter uh, pot here and we're gonna upgrade it to this. I know I'm sitting far away, but this is a lot of plants and it seems like a lot of work. So I'm gonna need some helpers. I wonder who I can get to help. All right, look at I found some helpers. I've got Shorty One right here and Shorty Two right here, and so we're gonna do some planting. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> All right. So first things first. Yeah. So first things first. I'm gonna put these in the middle, and Daddy's gonna take them out, okay? And what you're gonna do is put the plants in the little holes, okay? Okay. Does that sound like a good idea? What are you doing with that thumb? Yeah. Get that thumb out of your mouth. <laughs> Ready? So, first off, let's get one of these little plants out like this, see? And you don't want to disturb the roots, guys, okay? So all you want to do is take your little finger like this and set them in. Can you do that? Sure. Okay. That's perfect, Ava. All right, shorty. Okay, next up is Kylie's turn. Ready? It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna tuck it in to bed. So I'm gonna put this like this. Hold it gentle. Hold it gentle. Okay. And then we just pop it in like that. Oh, <gasps> cool. Yeah, I'm just a little. Oh, right. Put it in here, Bob. You're doing good. Here you go, Bob. Don't disturb the roots. All right. So when we're done with this little process, we'll have them all potted up, and then we'll get to water. I want, I want, I want. Say bye. 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 
Okay guys, so sorry about the distance from this shot at this angle here. I know I'm kind of far away from you, but I wanted to get all four flats in. They've all been repotted into bigger uh, growing um, pots here. And some of them are a little bit droopy. A couple of them are a little bit droopy here because they got a little bit of shot going on right now. But I did bottom water them um, to give them a little bit of moisture. Hopefully they'll shoot back up. Got a couple of rent plants here too, but I'm not too worried about it. They all can't be super plants, right? If I lose one or two, uh, that's not going to be a big deal. I uh, lost my helpers about 20 minutes into it, but you know what? That's okay. Um, they had they had uh, fun watching uh, and helping and transplanting, and that's what it's about, is just getting them involved, and that's cool. So uh, these things, I'm going to park them in the grow room for about five or six weeks. They are going to be on my lettuce table because that gets a lot of light. The lettuce is going to be moved to the floor. So let's move on over to the... Um, grow room and we'll finish up this video. Thank you. Okay guys, the repotting is done. They've been transferred back to the grow room and now they are in their final resting place until it's time to go out into soil. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got again 72 plants. They're going to be on a light regimen of 12 hours on 12 hours off and they've been bottom fed, they're perking back up, they look great. Uh, so, really pleased with what we got going on in here. Let's come back in about a month, check these plants out, check their growth. Um, again, this is an eight part series, so part two will be probably third week of April, and that will detail the plan of uh, attack here before we get into bed preparation and planting. So. Again, thanks for checking in on me. Please like, subscribe, and uh, join the uh, little adventure here that I got going on with landscaping with peppers. So thanks for watching. Bye.